It's time we crack open these Fitz headers and get modifying them. Welcome to SETI Astro. Well, I wanted to go over my newest Fitz modifier feature in SETI Astro Suite here. I also went out and, and got a better microphone while I'm traveling here because the other one was just terrible. So hopefully this sounds better. So let's go ahead and just load up a Fitz file first. Okay, we have a Fitz file loaded. You are all familiar with, you know, seeing the header data off to the uh, right there, but now under Fitz modifier, you can click to edit and it pulls up this screen. Uh, if your Fitz file has mul multiple HDUs, you could actually select them up here. You can go through and just click around. You can double click into anything and edit it directly. If you want to just add a new one, you could add a new one as well. Just change this down here to whatever you want and then click add update. If it doesn't exist on the list, it'll just add it at the bottom. You could also delete ones with delete selected. And then to make any changes in here, you could just double click. And then let's say our gain was actually 121. And then uh, just, just click save. It'll say it's saved and update it. And then you can just click reload. And it reloads it, it says 121. And if you look off over in the header on the right too, you can see it now says gain 121. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back to 100. Click save. And reload. And the great thing from here too is you could also do a batch modify. So let's go ahead and uh, look at something where you may want to do a batch modification. Like I know the Celestron Origin has an issue with their Bayer pattern being wrong. So let's say your Bayer pattern was wrong. Click batch modify. Now it's going to ask you to, to choose your fits files. So I'm going to go ahead and choose these particular files. They're all here, just control A, open, and I have 10 selected. And you can just actually go right here and change it to whatever you want. You could also add to all these selected. If you just make a new name here, it's on add update. If it's not on the list, it's gonna go ahead and add it to all of them anyways. So you can go ahead and change your bear pattern. Let's say it was like GRBG, and then just click run and it'll say it was updated. And you can just close that. We can go ahead and reload it. And bear pattern GRBG. And now that's changed on all those files that fast. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, ch change all those back and click run. And it's done. We'll close it, reload. Now they all say RGGB. This actually came in very handy for me. I had some files sent with no filter names or wrong filter name associated with it actually. And I wanna say, you don't even need anything opened in the slot at first. If you just go to Fitz modifier and edit, there's an open Fitz button right here. And we can go ahead and I'll pull up the one that had the, the incorrect filter name. And you can see here the filter name was SI03. So uh, my particular program wasn't recognizing that as an S2 filter. So I could just click batch modify, choose my fits. I'll just select them all, click open. And I wanna change this to S203 and just click run. It's, it's done that fast. And now if you reload it, now it's S203 and all of them are changed. So this is a very rapid fits header modifier, or just a one-off if you just wanna change one of the things. It allows you to add any uh, additional ones on here. If you wanna add your own, you know, test header. And then add update. Now at the bottom it says test test. We could just save it and it's saved, done. If we reload it, it's, it's there in the header. So this is a quick video. I just wanted to showcase my new fits modifier. I think a lot of people struggle to update their fits if they don't have some dedicated software for it. So I hope everybody could just use City Astro Suite and you could do single files or batch files and just get it done. Please comment, like, and subscribe.